Today in the United States, more children are diagnosed with autism each year than with juvenile diabetes, AIDS, or cancer combined. According to the CDC, one in 88 American children suffer some degree of autism, representing a tenfold increase in prevalence over the past 40 years. Yet it is still one of the most misunderstood conditions in the nation today. There's still a lot we don't know about autism, but we do know that it is a neurological and a developmental disability. And what we mean by neurological is the brain functioning of an individual with autism is different from the brain functioning of an individual that does not have autism. In terms of developmental disability, it affects three main areas of development. Socialization, like limited eye contact, communication, like no communication skills or delayed communication skills, or impairments in behavior, like exhibiting repetitive behaviors, rocking back and forth. While there is still a lot to learn about this condition, one thing researchers and educators agree on is that early intervention is the key to children with autism overcoming the worst of its symptoms and achieving their maximum potential. So while most people would agree that intervention at any age is beneficial, intervention in the earliest years are going to be most beneficial. The less time an individual with autism has to engage in maladaptive behaviours and the more time that they have to practice those adaptive skills, the better the outcome is going to be. Of course, every individual with autism does develop at a different rate and what we need to do is determine how that child is going to learn best and at the fastest rate possible. One of the most effective and proven such interventions is the use of Applied Behavioral Analysis, or ABA, as practiced by California-based ACEs. ABA stands for Applied Behavior Analysis, and what we mean by applied is we take behavior principles like shaping, positive reinforcement, and we apply those to socially significant and important behaviors like brushing teeth. Behavior, we're looking at observable behaviors, things that we can see and measure. And then analysis is actually the process of measuring a behavior, applying some kind of treatment, like implementing a token reinforcement system, and then measuring that behavior to determine if the intervention strategy was effective. The staff of developmental specialists with ACEs realizes that the most effective treatments for autism involve a team approach that includes the child's entire environment. What makes us comprehensive is that we value collaboration. It's actually a core value of ours. And so we work really hard to ensure that we have a multimodality approach and incorporate each person on the child's treatment team to maximize their potential. Educators, parents, and children alike applaud the work being done by ACEs to help families dealing with autism. From an educator standpoint, our community integration programs have been very helpful for our families. I know they've shared with me that oftentimes they have a difficult time taking the kids out into the community. So what we do is we actually go out into the community with the parents and work with them on their children's behaviors so they can feel comfortable taking them out when we're not around. Not long ago, the causes of autism remained a mystery. Thanks to ongoing research, Today, we understand that there is no one cause of autism, just as there is no one type of autism. New insights will continue to shape how autism is treated in the nation today. Yet the specialists at ACEs understand that challenges remain. Well, we don't know what causes autism yet, but we do believe that there is some kind of genetic vulnerability potentially combined with an environmental trigger that causes autism. What we do know is that ABA isn't an effective treatment for autism. We also know that every individual with autism is so different and what works for one child may not work for another. And so at ACEs what we're doing is partnering with a, a few different universities including the University of North Texas to really determine what works best for what type of child. Since 1996, ACEs has been helping children with autism and their families cope with this often mystifying condition. ACEs is unique because of our philosophy of making a difference one child at a time. There's a story about a little boy walking on the beach and there was thousands of starfish and he was going and picking them up and throwing them into the ocean one starfish at a time. And an old man approached him and asked him why he's even trying to make a difference when there's so many starfish across the beach. And he went and he reached down and picked up another one and threw it into the ocean and said, I made a difference to that one. And that's what we incorporate into our lives each day. Today, ACES has grown to include locations throughout California, Washington, Hawaii, 
Colorado, and Texas, including a fully accredited non-public school serving children in grades K through 12 in San Diego. Through a proprietary program of advanced applied behavior analysis, each ACES location is dedicated to seeing every child with autism achieve his or her maximum potential. ACES creates an enriched environment specific to the special language acquisition needs of the child with autism. However, the professionals with ACES know full well that successful autism treatment must occur beyond the classroom or clinic. It's extremely important that parents understand the techniques and are able to implement it at home. As we know, whether you're a child with autism or a typical child, uh, learning doesn't stop in the classroom. It continues on and they need to know how to be able to work with their kids at home or in the community uh, and be able to generalize those skills outside of a classroom. One of the best programs that ACES has offered our family is a teen social group. So my son and daughter get to go out with other teens in the park, play pickup sports, pool, or they'll go to the mall, go shopping, just like any other teen. And now I'm getting a picture of what their future is going to be like and how they're always going to have friends uh, to hang out with, who really get them, and who they can be comfortable with. And that's just really been a wonderful thing for me to see. If you or someone you know has a child with developmental difficulties or has been diagnosed with autism and you would like to learn more, please visit ACES at acesaba.com.